Despite many good reasons Californians have to relocate to Austin, Texas, many of them might also regret it. And in this video, we're going to talk about why. Stay tuned. Hey again, everybody. This is Frank with the Living in Austin group at EXP Realty. Every week, we put out new content about living in Austin, Texas, the good and yes, the bad. So consider subscribing to the channel and ringing that little bell to get notified anytime we put out a new video. We also love the reach outs we get now all the time from people just like you in need of our help when relocating to the greater Austin area. So don't hesitate. Keep them coming whether you're nine days away or 90. Reach out to our team whether you shoot us a text, send us an email, give us a call any day of the week, any time of day. So yes, in this video, we are talking about why Californians may regret moving to Austin, Texas. And interestingly enough, last year we put out a video where I was talking about my experience living in Los Angeles and why I just couldn't take it and I had to come back. So don't get me wrong, I realize there are an abundance of reasons why they are relocating not just to Austin, Texas, but to Texas itself. A lot of those reasons might be just the state of how things are in California and other things might be the Texan culture, the change of pace here, how the energy is less stressful, less anxious, less staticky, and how things here are more spread out and, and larger and calmer. And so a lot of reasons go into that of what Texas has to offer and what Californians uh, are getting tired of in California. However, in this video, there are, of course, many things about Austin, Texas, and on this channel, we keep it pretty blunt and brutally honest, that just might make you regret that decision. So uh, let's get right to it and talk about why. Reason number one, decreasing affordability. Look, is it true that you get more bang for your buck in the state of Texas than you do in California? Hell yes, it is true. However, is it true that Austin, Texas is above and beyond the most expensive city to live in the state of Texas? Hell yes, that is true as well. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, outside of the city limits, outside of Austin proper, you do have an abundance of suburbs and towns and little cities that are relatively quite affordable when compared to the city, but even still, it is becoming so much more expensive than anywhere else in Texas. And so a lot of Californians um, who might not want to live in Dallas, who might not want to live in the humidity of Houston or San Antonio for that rather, they naturally look at Austin as a very popular relocation destination, not just in Texas, but in the entire country and think, OK, cool, Austin is the one for me. Um, and then they combine that with the um, the notion that everything's cheaper in Texas, which yes, it is. Um, but they kind of expect Austin to be of the same caliber of affordable. And uh, it's simply not the case. I mean, the median home price in at least the city of Austin, the Austin proper right now is right around $600,000, actually a bit more than that now, uh, as opposed to cheaper places like Dallas, Houston or San Antonio. And so... Um, that can be a rude awakening, right? If you if you take, say, half a million bucks, 750 or even a million, whatever your budget is, if you bring it to Austin, Texas, even though it is more expensive, you're still going to get better bang for your buck than California. So that much is true. Uh, but a lot of people are just not quite expecting the higher price tags that you get being close to Austin, Texas because of its demand. That's the thing. Uh, Dallas is amazing. Houston's amazing. San Antonio's amazing. Texas is amazing. Uh, mostly. But uh, yeah, Austin, Texas is the one place in particular that has such high demand with all those companies moving here with the tech scene that's that's really uh, emerging here. And so, yeah, that might be absolutely a reason that you might regret coming to Austin, Texas from California. Reason number two, the heat. And yes, I am stating the obvious. I need to put on my Captain Obvious hat. And so because it is so obvious, I will keep it brief, but I cannot stress it enough. We all know that the South is hot, so it's not like I'm saying anything new. But what a lot of people don't really understand is the type of heat that we have here. So yeah, you might be coming to Austin or the state of Texas thinking, all right, we're going to endure some triple digit weather in the summers. And that's we're just going to accept that. Yeah, but if you haven't been here, right, if you haven't toured or traveled or or just been in Texas during that peak summertime, nothing can really prepare you for it. And so uh, what I learned in my time living in Los Angeles, well, more specifically Pasadena, California, is that uh, I would rather have 102 in Pasadena, California than have 90 degrees 
in the state of Texas. And that is because of the density of the heat. And so the best example that I can think of that I've always used that holds strong is when you're baking cookies in the oven and you kind of open the oven to check on the cookies and this really, really heavy, dense, thick, intense heat smacks your face. That is, I'm not exaggerating, that is precisely what it is like to step outside and walk to your car in the heat, to go from your car to the store in the heat, to walk your dog in the heat, my little corgi right there. Um, and so uh, that's just your warning, right? A lot of the weather apps, you know how it says, the temperature is so-and-so, but feels like, well, in Texas, 90 degrees can feel like 99 degrees. 102 degrees can feel like 112 degrees because while it might not be as humid, say, as Houston, it's still not going to be as dry as, say, Phoenix or in Pasadena's case. So yes, be warned, it does get very, very hot here and this summer was absolutely brutal. Uh, right now it is early September and it is still 95, 96, 94, 93, and then the app says feels like 101. That is happening in September with Halloween like a month away. So yes, you can expect it from May into June, into July, into August, and then slowly dwindling in September of just brutal, brutal heat. Um, so I recommend parking your car in a garage, things of that nature. Uh, you're gonna pay more money with the water bill, cranking your AC as well. Just things that you might not be thinking about that are day-to-day -day adjustments you'll have to make. So yes, I'm stating the obvious, it's hot here, but um, it, it can affect your wallet, it can affect your mental space if you're not ready for it, so cannot stress it enough. And that is absolutely a reason, if you're coming from California, beautiful weather California, you might regret it. Reason number three, that you might regret moving from California to Austin, Texas, and that would be Texas is red. And so here's the thing, a lot of Californians, uh, because California is a blue state, are used to that, they want that, they like that, that's why they live there, and on this channel we're not gonna talk super in depth about politics because that's not what I'm here to do. However, uh, a lot of people look at Austin, Texas being this blue dot in the sea of red that is otherwise Texas, and they think, okay, cool, like, you know, we're moving from a blue state, and even though Texas is a red state, we're gonna go to the place in the red state that is actually blue. Well, uh, that is fine and dandy, however, you're still living in a red state. You're still having policies and things that are, you know, right-leaning. And so that's that's something that um, can still affect you. I mean, you might enjoy the culture of Austin, Texas that is very progressive, that is very liberal and artistic and all the great things that make Austin, Texas, Austin, Texas, but you'll find that as soon as you're not in the city limits, even if you're in suburbia, it's not going to be super duper right-wing. No, I'm not saying it changes like that, but the rest of the suburbs, the rest of the greater Austin area is going to be moderate. A lot of it is going to lean to the right. A lot of it is going to lean to the left as well, don't get me wrong, but you're still going to be in Texas. You're still going to be affected by the state's politics. So if that is something that you really care about, because some of us are apolitical, some of us uh, could care less, right? But some of us really do care. Uh, that is a reality of living in Texas, you know, even if you're in Austin, Texas. So uh, don't get me wrong, a lot of calls that we've gotten are from people in California saying, well, you know, we need to go to a red state. We want to go to a red state. Things are getting so crazy in our state. So to those people, rest assured, you're good. But if you're hoping that, you know, it's going to be this, this experience similar to California, at least in that sense of the whole state being that way, uh, you might regret it. Reason number four, Austin is getting worse. And this is kind of piggybacking on the last point I just talked about regarding the politics. And this is something that a lot of Austinites who've been here a long time, or Texans who've been here many, many years, have been saying with their fists in the air on their soapboxes, getting all angry and, and saying, don't move here, don't bring your politics here. You know, we like it here the way it is. You're gonna change it if you come. Um, all that angry stuff, well, as we've seen recently, Austin, Texas is getting worse. We are seeing a rapid increase in crime. We are seeing a ton of traffic and construction with all the people flocking here in a city that's not really equipped to handle so many people. And we're seeing a lot more homelessness. We're seeing a lot more tents. We're seeing a lot more panhandlers. And it's ironic because a lot of the calls we've gotten from clients in the past are saying, 
man, we really need to get out of California because there are so many tents everywhere. There are so many panhandlers everywhere. The traffic here has always been nuts, but it's especially nuts. The crime is just getting out of whack in California where we live. And you notice now that Austin is, you know, it's not to that extreme, don't get me wrong. I would never really directly compare Austin to a place like Los Angeles, but uh, Austin is starting to really become that place in Texas that has the tents, that has the traffic, that has the crime, that has the, all of that stuff. And so if you're wanting to escape that, rest assured, it's not going to be that bad. And I think as soon as you're really out of the city limits, Austin proper into, you know, the outskirts, suburbia, the little towns and stuff, you're not really going to see it. You're not really going to feel it. It won't really affect you. However, if you're going to be working in Austin, dabbling in Austin, having fun in Austin, spending a lot of time in Austin, um, yeah, it's a big reality here and, and it's happening at an alarming pace. And so uh, I just need to point out the irony and remind you that if you're moving to Austin to escape all that stuff, uh, yeah, it's not going to be as intense, but you're still going to see it here. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, if, if you're coming from California, you might regret that. Now, real quickly, before moving on, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If we've been providing any value for you, consider liking the video as it really helps our channel grow. Remember to subscribe and lastly, share our content with anybody you know who's wanting to learn more about living in Austin, Texas. Okay, last but certainly not least, reason number five is going to piggyback on reason number four, which piggybacked on reason number three, and that would be that Austin, Texas is becoming more Californian. And not just the crime I mentioned, not just the traffic I mentioned, not just the tens I mentioned. It is becoming more culturally like California. And here's the thing. A lot of people love that about Austin, Texas, because let's be honest, people who were needing to relocate to Texas, maybe not wanting to, but maybe they got that job. It just makes sense financially. And they kind of decide on Texas. A lot of them might not be attracted to the Texan culture that you find very strongly in Dallas, very strongly in Houston, very strongly in San Antonio. And they look at Austin and say, well, Austin is the least Texan city in the state of Texas. And it kind of makes sense for them. Uh, however, a lot of people who are wanting to come to Texas, they really want the Southern culture. They really want the, the nicer people, all of that spread out stuff. Um, they come to Austin and they realize that Austin really isn't a super duper Texan place anymore. Uh, with Google being here, Amazon being here, Apple being here, Tesla being here, IBM being here, Dell being here, so many tech companies coming here, really, really evolving these Silicon Hills that we've already had in Austin. That's really just blowing it up in a way we've never seen before. And then of course, due to that, all of the transplants here. So something I experienced a lot in California because it's California, I'm not really gonna say it's that bad here, but you know, in California, if you ask anyone where they're from, most often the answer is not from California, uh, or at least if you ask 10 people, a good amount of those 10 are gonna say, oh yeah, I'm from Missouri, oh yeah, I'm from New York, oh, I'm from Texas, I'm from Oregon, so on and so forth. Well, uh, that is becoming the case in Austin, Texas. We have a big implant culture here, where now if you are downtown and you ask 10 people you meet, hey, where are you from? a ton of them will not say Texas. They will most likely say California, Washington, Oregon, Canada, New York, all these places near the coast or places that are getting too expensive. And so that is the thing with all the tech here that is resembling San Francisco. Uh, and then of course, everything I mentioned regarding the traffic and the crime and the construction and things that are really changing at higher prices here as well. Um, it, it's becoming a very, Californian city in Texas. And so while that is attractive to many people who don't really want anything too Texan, it can absolutely be a deterrent for a lot of people who are wanting that change. And so that could be another reason why you'd regret moving from California to Austin, Texas. So there you have it. Hopefully you've done a good enough job of explaining pretty much what to expect if you're coming to Austin, Texas from California and ultimately helping you arrive at your own conclusion as to whether or not that is right for you. And if it even still, despite all of those things, still makes sense for you, again, that is what we are here for, helping people just like you relocate to the greater Austin area, making that move as smooth as possible, finding that perfect spot. But again, the only way we can do that is by you reaching out to us. So don't hesitate whether you're nine days away or 90, reach out to our team with you, shoot us a text, send us an email, give us a call any day of the week, any time of day, it is what we'd love 
to do. And again, every week we put out new content about living in Austin, Texas, the good and in this case, the bad. So remember to subscribe if you haven't already and ring that little bell to get notified anytime we put out a new video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Consider liking the video if we've been providing any value for you. Share it with anybody you know. And until the next one, you guys, my name is Frank. This is Living in Austin, Texas, and we will absolutely catch you later.